Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm showing you how to play the impossible cut shots. So by impossible cut shot, I mean like the rail first cut shot where the ball literally should not be able to go in. But we make it. So we're just going to put, we're going to start with the straight on one. So we're going to put the three ball down there on the second diamond and our cue ball right here. I uh, think it's pretty much in a straight line there. If not, it's okay. It's still fairly straight. So this ball is a very tough ball to play because it is hard to bank. It's not an easy bank shot because of that double kiss. Uh, you can't really see it with your eyes, but those balls hit twice. They hit each other twice. And let's just say this is the last ball on the table. Let's say we're like playing straight pool or whatever. This is, happens to be your last ball. And you don't really want to kick at your last ball. Which technically we are going to kick at this, but it's a higher percentage kick than that would be. In terms of making the ball, in terms of like hitting it, definitely go this kick all the way. So what we're going to do is we need to contact this three ball right here to send it into that pocket which is extremely hard to hit, just hitting straight at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use extreme right spin. If we're cutting the ball to the right, we're using extreme right spin. If we're cutting it to the left, we're using extreme left spin. So as much as you can put on this ball, it would be the very outer edge of the circle. Right spin, left spin. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the ball, hit the cue ball to where it barely misses the three, hits off of the rail, and that extreme right or left spin sends it into the ball like that. So it's going to go like that. The only thing you need to watch out for is the scratch way down there because the cue ball is going to go something like that. So that's what you need to watch. That's the only thing you really need to watch out for. Uh, the problem here, deflection. So if you haven't seen my video on deflection, you can go watch that. But since we're using extreme right spin, I'm going to miss cue here just to show you. Watch what happens when we hit on the very right of the cue ball. See how it goes over to the left? So we're actually going to aim to hit about half or three-fourths of this three ball. We're going to aim to hit like right here. But since that extreme right spin is going to push that cue ball away that direction, it should hit right here and cut it into the corner pocket. So this really isn't a cut shot at all. This is an extreme kick shot but we still count it as a cut. So the first straight on shot, these, these are hard. These are very hard shots to accomplish. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you this one right now. Okay, so the same shot can be played along the long rail. So if the three ball's on the long rail, and the cue ball's about here, you can aim to hit about there on the three ball with the extreme left spin, since we're cutting it to the left. Let's put it on the first diamond to make it good, like a reference point. So we're gonna aim a little bit past the first diamond, just about here. And that extreme left spin caused deflection to hit it about there. Uh, and then that spin will take it into the rail and then into the three ball, which will send the three ball into the corner pocket. Uh, this is an easier version. The cue ball is closer, uh, so we're going to hit a little more towards the rail than over the short rail because obviously the cue ball at an angle, the angle increases as the cue ball moves more. So the further it goes, the more the angle increases. So this is just, it's easier because you have more of a direct aiming point, but it's still a tough shot that you need to practice, and here it is. Okay, so this rail first cut shot can be used on pretty much any shot on the rail. So it's always good to know just that rail first into the pocket. Because sometimes 
you won't necessarily be faced with the impossible cut shot too often. But this is a pretty common one, which is hard to get just hitting straight on. See, you just kind of barely move it. With that real first cut shot, I might not make it, but there we go. With the real first cut shot, you can hit slower on the cue ball and still be able to make the ball a lot easier. You have a lot more margin for error. You can mess up more there. Uh, you also use the real first cut shot when you're on the rail like here. You can shoot the real first cut shot anywhere from here to here to here to here. So it's a pretty dynamic shot. Uh, it shoots all the way across the table anytime a ball is on a rail, which is pretty often. More often than you may like. Uh, it works when you're trying to cut balls down this rail, just like that. It just goes into the rail uh, quicker than your eye can see and comes straight out and contacts the ball very thinly to send it into the pocket. See how hard, see how hard it is to hit it directly right there? Like we can like slam this ball and barely make it. But when we come off of the rail, it goes in easily as if we were kind of shooting it from away off of the table. Kind of if we were shooting it from this direction. So very, 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 very important shot to know. Uh, and you should get practicing on it now. Okay, so a thing you need to be careful about when doing these real first cut shots. So let's say we're cutting across the rail like this again, and I'm probably not going to make it, but just watch the cue ball. See how it comes in this direction? See how it comes back? Now if we hit thinner, sort of where we need, like that, you see how it's coming back more, and you see how close it comes to this pocket. So this is pretty much the case on every extreme rail first cut shot like this. So like if we're trying to cut that in, it can either go to this pocket or that pocket. This ball moves very fast and it will always move towards a pocket. Let's see if I can catch this on the very edge. See how, well, if that ball would have gotten in the way, we would have come very close to this pocket. Also, since we have that heavy right spin, it's automatically going to come down this direction. But the opposite spin, that right spin, Watch what happens when I flick this down that table with that right spin. Watch how it comes close to that pocket or even in it. So you're pretty much always going to go near a pocket when you do this real first cut shot. Uh, the cue ball will be flying around the table if you have to hit it as hard as you do with this shot. So it's very, very, very important to figure out where your cue ball is going to go right after you shoot this shot uh, because a scratch can cost a whole entire game or if you're playing on if you're playing a really good opponent maybe a whole entire match maybe a whole entire 10 games uh, so very 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 important to watch where your cue ball will go with what spin you're using thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did click the like button down below if you want to be notified when I post again, click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. I just want to take this time to thank you for 8,500 subscribers. That is absolutely insane. I never thought it would get this far this fast, uh, but it has. And I couldn't do any of this without you 8,500 people I would just be a weird kid sitting upstairs filming himself do pool tutorials for no one to watch. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you for getting me to 1.2 million views and 5 million watch time minutes. You guys have watched me for 5 million minutes. And that's mostly come from August and September. So you guys are absolutely crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.